As we celebrate Hope's 10th year in rescue, we come together as a community and as individuals that are working together to make a difference. Let's take a quick look back at how it all started. In the wake of Hurricane Katrina, Jackie and Kim could not turn their backs when an estimated 600,000 dogs found themselves homeless. Soon these two women opened up their suburban homes to 17 Hurricane Katrina dogs that had survived unspeakable hardships. Without any intention of forming a rescue on November 15, 2005, Jackie, Kim, and these 17 dogs officially became Hope Animal Rescues. Since 2005, with the support of volunteers and donations, Hope has saved almost 3,000 dogs. Currently, 138 dogs are waiting for their forever home. Tonight, we are asking for your support to be a rescuer and to make a difference. It's so easy, even a kid can do it. Meet Brayden in Brooklyn, a brother and sister who chose presents for the dogs over birthday gifts for themselves. We got dog toys, some treats, and leashes, and um, all kinds of different stuff for the dogs, and we took them to Hope Rescues. I opened them, and then we put them in a bag, and then we took them to Hope Rescues. I don't like when they're out in the wild, and they don't have food, and I don't want them to die. Because when they're out in the wild, they can't live. I like playing with the puppies and I, and I think it's and I like that they rescue dogs. I like playing with puppies. Throughout the year, Hope relies on the generosity of not only kids, but individuals and businesses for funding and donated items. When school starts and donations are at their lowest, Supplement Superstore stepped up by asking, "How can we help?" First Form, in conjunction with Supplement Superstores, initiated Donations for Dogs a two-week-long donation and collection drive of pet supplies to benefit Hope Rescues. Supplement Superstores collected items in all 13 locations, including their Edwardsville location. I think more than anything, we just wanted to give back to the community. You know, being that we're all da uh, dog people here um, in the First Form Supplement Superstores family, we felt we could help give back to a shelter that uh, spends so much time, effort, and money, giving back to a community for really no cause other than the dogs. You know, the rescue dogs is something that's near and dear to our hearts uh, here just at Supplement Superstore. Um, almost all my guys are, are big rescue guys, uh, in particular the, the Pity Rescues, where I'll have a sweet spot for that. I think the biggest factor in why we decided to work with Hope Rescues uh, is that they're a locally owned shelter, they're a smaller shelter, and I think by our community coming together we could make a great impact uh, for a smaller shelter that goes a longer way. I instantly respect a person who decides to take a dog, you know, who hasn't been given the life, you know, it, it should have had, you know, provide that life for him. I, I instantly have a common bond, an instant respect. Um, and the feeling I got with that, the uh, the joy I have from my rescue, I'll never go any other way. It's, it's by far the best thing I've ever done you know, as far as owning an animal. Not only does Hope rely on donated items, they also rely on the much needed funding to continue to save lives. Texas and Tails' continued success is due in large part to the generosity of the Calagero and Garino families, owners of Bella Milano. We're all huge pet people and specifically dogs and uh, we immediately became interested and engaged with uh, Amber's project and so we became partners that very first year with Hope Rescues and from that became a continuing relationship to this day that is, has grown from there and that we've all enjoyed very much and I think it's been very successful. One of our mission, mission statements is that we like to give back to the community. It's, it's very important to do that. And uh, when we got involved with, with Tucks and Tails, uh, it was a natural. Uh, we have several dogs. We've had several dogs all of our life. Um, and it's, just, it's, it's, become, it's become, you know, really a passion for us. The facility is wonderful. It's beautiful out there. It's um, really clean and you know I mean I loved it I loved it it's a place any dog would want to live once we had the opportunity to see Hope Rescues in action uh, the dynamic changed completely and after that it was anything we could do became a priority it was donating things from our Dairy Queens especially Craig and Lori's it was doing extra things from Bella Milano we're personally helping out where we could it was collecting money at uh, almost any event we could my 60th birthday party we we made them the charitable uh, donation. The playground equipment has been a very useful resource for us. The dogs when they come they're stressed. It's a new environment 
and the dogs need us to help them either become more adoptable or to help them stay adoptable. The playground equipment has helped us in so many ways in reducing their amount of stress, um, giving them playtime, so they're enjoying their stay with us until they find their forever home. The double fencing now that we use for our play yards has been crucial for me as training with the dogs as well as providing dog groups. Um, it, it gives me a safe environment for where I can introduce dogs and where the dogs can play and have lots of room to do so openly without being crowded and it's just been instrumental in, in helping us achieve where they need to go with being adopted. Texas and Tails has changed so much for Hope Rescues with their donors and we are so appreciative of them. We wouldn't have these yards, we wouldn't have the pools, the play equipment. This has made a huge impact on the dogs and for their quality of life here with us. Waiting, as we all know, is, is hard, but this has helped them enjoy their time with us before they find their forever home. Well, this is our 10 year anniversary, um, which brings back a lot of memories of how we got started and where we came from, from 15 dogs 10 years ago to 150 dogs today. Um, and it goes back to a baseball couple that we didn't have any clue who they were coming in. And few, several years later, after we became friends, buying 14 acres and building a dream sanctuary um, for the pets in our care um, to you Amber Boyles coming to us and saying I have this idea let's do Texas and Tails um, we didn't know where that was going to go how successful it was going to be if we could find a niche with our contributors that says hey this is what your money goes to and they can actually see it and witness it, and they can see it not just by looking at the fenced yards, but looking at the faces of the dogs that come from here. They're all happy, they're all smiling, because they got enriched. They didn't just get saved. And that's the difference and what makes us special by all of us working together. Last year, Hope's operating costs exceeded $350,000. Hardworking volunteers, monthly fundraisers, and private donations all make it possible for Hope to carry out their mission each and every day. As you can see, there are many different ways to support the work of Hope Rescues. I'm a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. I am a rescuer. I am a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. I rescue. I'm a rescuer. I am a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. I'm a rescuer. <laughs> Everyone can be a rescuer. Are you willing to make a difference?